What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here today playing in our final round robin game of our Phoenix career mode. Now today, basically, this game, even though it is the last game of the round robin, does have huge implications for both ourselves and, well, not so much Adelaide, but a little bit Adelaide. So, um, at the moment, we're currently sitting third, we're on 48 points, and Adelaide are next, so they are, oh, what a bull. Oh, Armstrong just can't quite bring that down under control, but what a ball. I'm not quite sure who that was um, But anyway back to that point that I was just saying Adelaide on 50 points. We're in third on 48 So basically this game here for us. It is a big game. It's a big game for Adelaide as well They need to pretty much make sure that they take at least a point We need to make sure that we pick up the win if we want to finish in second position and that does have its benefits finishing in second you obviously uh, can potentially get the week off you can only play a couple of games to make it into the grand final rather than having to go through the whole lot Armstrong with a good run good save by Galekovic um, to go and keep that one out so it is actually when you think about it um, all in all quite an important game I mean, as I said, this is going to be the difference between us going and playing in the major semi-final. If we win that, obviously we go straight through. It also does give us um, a second chance as well. If we do happen to go and lose in week one uh, and we finish in third place, that's the tournament, the season, the works done and dusted for us. However, if we can manage to pick up a win in this game, grab those three points and that is going to allow us, obviously, to finish second. We're going to go to 51. Adelaide will still be on 50. Uh, it is going to give us that opportunity to go and have that lifeline, I guess you would say. Armstrong almost makes it 1-0, but what a great save from you, uh, sorry, Eugene Galekovic, I should say. What am I saying? And um, quite strange, because the fortunes of Adelaide in this game is I think that one there has gone off the post. So we've had plenty of chances in this first 20 minutes, but haven't been able to find the back of the net yet. So hopefully we can go and do that very soon. Um, but yeah, the fortunes of this Adelaide side compared to the fortunes of Adelaide in real life. I think Adelaide uh, possibly, I can't, I'm not even sure what round we're up to, um, but Adelaide still possibly without a win. There we go. There's the first goal that we need. It has been coming for the Knicks, and it has come in the form of... Of Sarpong. So a good finish, nice wee finesse from inside the box there, and that has put us up 1 0. Sarpong's only his third goal all season, but it could be the most important goal of the lot. It could see us finish second should the result stay as this here. So hopefully, I kind of want to get another one just for a little bit, I guess, of insurance, um, just so that we, you know, if we do happen to concede, that, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world. But Got to watch out the satellite side, dangerous. Ali Babalj playing as well, who uh, he must be playing for them because obviously these are the updated squads playing for uh, Adelaide. But I don't think I've seen him start this season. But then again, Adelaide haven't been doing too well, so haven't really been paying too much attention to their fortunes. This is an opportunity. Sapong, use your pace. Come on, you got to get around him. You've got to get around him. You've been forced wide. That's a good defensive effort. Very good defensive effort. Um, so yeah, nothing really else to talk about too much. We have, I don't think we even have any major injury concerns. McGlinchey not playing today, um, just out on the bench, just being rested. But apart from that, basically this side here is almost the full strength side that you would expect from the Phoenix. We've got Armstrong up front, um, Sarpong and Krishna on the wings. Midfield consists of Bonavasia, Riera and Rodriguez, as I said, um, McGlinchey not playing today. He would probably be the only exception coming to there. Back four is a pretty much the, the standard back four that we've gone with all season. Fenton, Musket out on the wings. Dorente and Sigmund in the middle because they are our only centre backs that we do have. That's a great ball over to uh, Deganzic. And uh, he holds it up. Was great, great defensive work from Sarpong. And then obviously we've got the ever-present uh, Glenn Moss in net as well. And I was actually reading a, um, an article the other day about Glenn Moss, um, and it was just saying how, you know, in the league, I think he's set to become, I'm not quite sure, I think he's set to play uh, 100 games for the Phoenix this coming weekend. I'm not sure when the Phoenix, no, Phoenix are playing on Saturday, so they played yesterday. Um, so you'll have his 100 caps. Um, 
And yeah, there was just there was an article in there saying that he, you know, he may not be the flashiest uh, shot stopper, or may not be the guy that I guess gets all the mention of the likes of maybe Danny Vukovic or even Eugene. Uh, Eugene God, I can't say his name right today. Um, Galekovic, who probably, in my opinion, is one of the better keepers, um, you know, in the league. And he doesn't really get, you know, put on the same level as there. But he is rated very highly um, by both his peers and by opposition players. So. Um, and I think, you know, like, he is a, a good goalkeeper. He was in and out of the side. He's had a couple of spells uh, away from the club. Obviously, he went to Melbourne Victory. Uh, he went to Gold Coast United when they were playing. And, ooh, Jitte comes on, but coming off. That's why I haven't seen Babalge play, because Jitte... I think Jitte has actually been captaining the side in Galekovic's absence. But um, back to the Glen Moss, obviously, the saga. Went to uh, the Victory, went to the Gold Coast, and then came back to the Phoenix, I think, when uh, when the Gold Coast obviously went bankrupt, and I think Peston may have retired. Oh, get there, Armstrong. We need that insurance. Need that insurance policy just to keep us going strong. Good hit by uh, I think it was Rodriguez to find that space. And I think I was reading a stat the other day, and it seems I wouldn't say it's as ever present in in this game, but I think in the A League. Uh, Bolivasia, I think, is one of the most fouled players in the league, so, and I think it's just, not his niggle, but he just, like, gets in, and he's just hard to get off the ball, like, he's hard to nudge off the ball, he'll just stay on it all the time, and, um, I guess that can frustrate opposition teams, which it obviously does go and do, because he is the, one of the most fouled players in the league, so. This is tense. Like I know, like I feel pretty comfortable at the moment. Obviously, with that one goal lead, but Adelaide, are, they're playing well. Our passing is at ninety five percent. That is outstanding. It's never that high. Like Adelaide are playing well, and I think they're just dangerous. Like they're always in with a chance um, of just going and, and getting something. You know, all it's going to take is just that one bit of magic that is going to keep us outside that top two. Keep us outside. I guess that major semi final. So um, we just need to keep going and doing what we're doing. Keep solid at the back, and hopefully, uh, as the game wears on, we can get an opportunity like we have now. Riera just goes and trips up his captain. I was going to say an opportunity like we have now, where we can go and try and break out on the counter attack, which we do now have an opportunity to do. And Armstrong is going to have to do some footwork. Hopefully, he can get past. Oh, gets past Malik, and Adam Armstrong. Puts that one away. That's what he's been brought to the club to do. He's been brought to the club to be that out-and-out -out striker that's going to go and produce us goals when they need them most. 2-0 to the Knicks, and I'm going to say that is probably going to be the icing on the cake that is going to see us finish second in the league. Only the fourth goal in the A-League for Armstrong, but since he has um, been signed, obviously, in January, he has been a great addition to the side. It's just nice. I mean, I didn't have a problem playing... Um, the false nine, you know, playing like McGlinchey or Bonavassia up there. But I think having a guy, you know, that more direct guy, you can play that more direct route. Um, you also have more options, obviously, uh, going down the wing, playing it out wide and spinning it back into the middle. And as I said, you can just hit that direct long ball to him and things are going to work out for you. And he's really gelled well, uh, I'd say, with Krishna and Sarpong, who are obviously uh, the two main guys. I don't think... I was going to say, I don't think Sarpong's going to get there. He's not. And uh, Adelaide now trying, or just trying just about anything to try and get something going, uh, which is what they need to do. They're not playing for their season here, but again, um, they are playing for a place in that major semi final with the Melbourne Victory, who are just acres away from everyone else. I think, I'm not sure, I think from memory, they were on about 68 points, and Adelaide were next on 50. So, 18 points clear. Just incredible. That one there almost goes over the top. Sarpong's pulled up with injury, so that's not good, obviously, heading into the finals. He is a key player for us that, ideally, we want to be playing because he did score the opener in here. And um, as we saw, I think he's only scored three or four goals in the league this season, but he has been uh, a pretty influential threat on that wing. That's a good tackle by, I think it's McGowan. Um, so hopefully that injury to Sarpong isn't too major. Um, we will be able to find out, obviously, at the start of the next episode. It's good to see uh, the defensive line because we did lose our previous game 
to I think it was the Perth Glory 2-1. So it's good to see that they've really, uh, I guess, shut up shop today and have really been solid. So uh, hopefully that can carry on. Obviously we've got the victory uh, because I can't imagine... I can't imagine Adelaide coming back from this. Uh, you know, stranger things have happened. But I just don't see it happening. Tired legs. Real tired legs. Sarpong is still on it. Oh, free kick. Yes. I wanted to take that hit with Louis Fenton because earlier in the season, I scored an absolute cracker of a long-range goal uh, with Louis Fenton. That there may... Oof, I was going to say, it may not have enough bend... But Sarpong, who apparently is injured, has just hit, I think it was the post, or it might have been the crossbar, one of the two. But with that win, it sees the Phoenix go to 51 points for the season. That allows us to finish in second position, which is going to mean we are going to be playing in the major semi-final next week. So anyway, guys, do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter. Links that can be found down below in the description. Hope you guys have had a good weekend. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Don Bradman, Banning Career. Make sure you do not miss that.